Welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews, I'm Judith and you're watching another episode of Overbooked, the series where I talk about every single book on my shelves because otherwise I might get taken away to live in a tower for the rest of my life. Today we're talking about Naomi Novik's Uprooted, finally, after all these years. <laughs> bought this myself uh, a very very long time ago. I can't actually remember when but this came out in paperback in 2016 so some point in 2016 possibly? Um, I had no idea what it was at the time I picked it up on a punt and I remember sitting in my kitchen of my shared house the first year after university reading this all in one go and just having the best time. I have a vivid memory of that really horrible fake leather sofa that was in the kitchen because we had a sofa in the kitchen and just having the best time. That is my memory of this. But regardless of where books come from, nobody's paying me to talk about books and all opinions are my own. I'm also gonna keep this as spoiler free as humanly possible. If you do want to go in knowing absolutely nothing, click away now, come back when you've read it, we'll chat about it then. I'll also link the story graph down below in case you wanna check out any content warnings. This, like the book that we will talk about next week, is Naomi Novik's style of book that I like to call sort of a fairy tale inspired book. It is not a fairy tale retelling, strictly speaking, but it is a fairy tale. I think original fairy tale might be the best way to describe it. This originally came out in 2015. Uh, it, I wasn't on my radar. I don't think Naomi Novik was really on my radar until I read this. Possibly I had encountered Temeraire before that, but I can't quite remember. However, this is my first Naomi Novik that I definitely remember reading. In my About the Author section, I've just written, Naomi Novik has written all the things. And it's true, she's written an awful lot. The ones I've talked about most on this channel were the Scholomance series, which finishes this year, I think. Or book three comes out very soon. Love those, love talking about those. I haven't yet finished Temera and another series that I haven't encountered yet, I think, but I would very much like to. Uh, but today we're talking about Uprooted on its own. Allow me to read to you the plot. A dark enchantment blights the land. Agnieszka loves her village set deep in a peaceful valley, but the nearby enchanted forest casts a shadow over her home. Many have been lost to the wood and none return unchanged. The villagers depend on an ageless wizard, the dragon, to protect them from the forest's dark magic. However, his help comes at a terrible price. A young woman must serve him for ten years, leaving all she values behind. Agnieszka fears her dearest friend Cassia will be picked at the next choosing, for she's everything Agnieszka is not, beautiful, graceful and brave. Yet when the dragon comes, it's not Cassia he takes. Ooh, spooky. I haven't written notes for this because apparently past me just went, you can talk about Uprooted off the cuff, right? Right? Uh, so we'll see how this goes. My first pro for this book is I think that it really captures the fairy tale inspiration fantastically. Uh, Naomi Novik is not drawing on any particular fairy tales, it is just that fantastic combination of character and setting and story. And I would say that it begins very, very fairy tale esque, and it leans more into more of a fantasy novel that you might find on a slightly different part of the shelf later on in the book. So, for those who get really fed up with fairy tales, it doesn't stick that way forever. Um, I really, really enjoy the overall tropes and ideas that this book explores. You know, I love a strong female character who's sort of feeling a little bit out of her depth but kicks it into gear because she needs to get things done. You know, I love that. Do I love the grumpy wizard character? Yes. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for asking. Um, just so many things about this are just ticking boxes for me to the point where I've read so many books that compare themselves to Uprooted. And I think I can say without fail, none of them have lived up to it for me. Maybe that's because I read Uprooted first. Maybe it's because no one else has managed to capture the wonder and the whimsy and the spooky grit that Naomi Novik has. The evil of the forest is really, really creepy at times. And I don't think anyone else has managed to balance those two things, like the fairy tale, but it has to have the darkness that original fairy tales have, right? The other reason I usually recommend people read this book is I think the magic system is really, really cool. It is a words-based magic system, but we get to play with it a lot in this book. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things that happens in it is we have one person who thinks magic should be done this very specific way. And a main character who goes, does it have to be though? That's one of my favorite things of all time. Are you kidding me? It's so great. Um, I Anytime you get to really explore magic and break the rules and set up things and then bend them and break them uh, is always good to me. And what I love about this is that Naomi Novik then hammers home and you get to really play with magic and we see all the things magic can do and we see exciting, interesting, scary, fantabulous, wonderful things. It all ties into the central romance of the book, which is really well done as well. This book works so cohesively that it's really hard to go, this is the magic and I'm just talking about that because it plays into the romance and it plays into the world and it plays into the setting, it plays into the characters and oh, 
It's all coming together in a wonderful hodgepodge of stuff. I've mentioned the romance. I think it will probably be one of the things that either you're really, really here for it or you're not. I have friends who absolutely loved it. I personally really, really enjoyed it. I tend not to think too critically about these things though. So if age difference isn't super your thing, it might not be for you. For me, it worked. I also know a lot of people who really wanted this book to be sapphic. It does have that Naomi Novik thing of setting up a pairing that would be very good together and then they are just gal pals um i don't know i don't know i feel like if you rewrote it now it would be a little bit more gay than it is now but you know that's me and naomi novik all the way this is also one of those plots that's really stayed with me and to be fair i have read this book more times than i care to admit i've read it so many times it's so rereadable uh, i pick up something new every time i just it's my comfort read it's my read it when i'm sick it's my everything book um i forgot where i was going with this I lost my train of thought. But even after the first read, so many elements of this plot really stayed with me. And I think it goes to places you just wouldn't expect it to. And the overall arc of the story is really fascinating. And in some ways it's very predictable. It's fairy tale. it's following a set, you know, this is where we're going. But the way that it gets there is very interesting. Uh, and that ties into the romance, the magic, the setting, the broader political landscape of the world. It's all in there. It all makes just for a really interesting and engaging read that keeps you going. It's not like other fairy tale books where you get to a point and you're like, well, I know, I know where this is going to end. So why would I bother reading the rest of it? I get it. You know, we're done. Uh, and sometimes that's comforting. Sometimes that's what you want. And I think this has that comforting, I know where this is going, but with some interesting elements added in as well. I'm trying to think of like cons, reason you might not want to read this, that aren't just like, if you don't like this, you won't like it. But for me, this is one of those books I just love. I, I always have. I think it is just the right length. It's just the right tone. It's just the right level of everything. Literally, if you're on board with what the book is, you'll have a great time. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I think, okay, if I'm being like, trying to think of it in the grand scheme of things, Spinning Silver, which we'll talk about next week, deals with much more real world issues than Uprooted does. That's not a criticism of either book, but it's an interesting comparison. I think next week will be a little bit easier to do some more of that comparative work, because I, I just treat Uprooted as it's kind of its own thing. In terms of things to compare this to, I've mentioned a lot of books have claimed they are uprooted meets whatever else book, usually Bear and the Nightingale. Um, Bear and the Nightingale I do actually think is a really good read for a sort of similar element to it. I think Vasya and Agnieszka have a lot in common. Vasya is a slightly more fighty character than Agnieszka is, but it still works really well. Um, I do actually draw a lot of comparisons between the two. They are two of my favourite books. It hits all the original fairy tale vibes for me. I'm trying to think if anything else has given me the same like fairy tale vibe that Uprooted has. And I genuinely don't think they have. I think Spinning Silver is the only other thing I can think to recommend that has that similar original fairy tale. So you can see tropes coming in and ideas from fairy tale coming in, but nothing that's done quite what this book has done. And nothing that's hit home for me as hard, basically. So comparisons, I don't have very many for you. But if you have any for me, do pop them down in the comments below. Overall, do I think you should read this? I don't know if it's come across in this video, but yes, Yes, you should. Uh, mainly so that I can have a slightly more, even more chaotic conversation about it with you. Uh, it's just one of those books that I can't pin down all the reasons I love it, because the reasons I love it are the entire book, right? It's tricky that way. I think you should read it. I think you'd have a great time. Have you read it? Do you have plans to read it? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're commenting and giving me your other recommendations, please do subscribe if you haven't already. It makes me feel loved and appreciated. Nothing makes me feel more loved and appreciated than my patrons over on Patreon who support the channel and make videos like this possible. They also get exclusive access to bonus content and early access to videos. If you would like to join their number, that is linked below as well as my Discord and my Twitter if you want to come have chill chats about books. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me and I shall see you in the next one. Bye. It's got a piece of bloopers now. I feel like with every video I film today, my hair gets a little bit more flat. Ding, 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 just this. Beautiful. Less beautiful, it falling on me. Honestly, thank you for that. Whew. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me and I shall see you in the next time. I shall see you in the next time. <laughs>